Hey, this is Oscar Healy and I am reviewing the Lenovo Mix 310 Hybrid Laptop. <laughs> The Lenovo Mix 310 is a great laptop and an awesome one when considering its price. A competent machine for web browsing and word processing with its oddly good keyboard and trackpad. The Lenovo is slightly small but perfect for on the go. The outside cover of this laptop hints at some of the price point compromises as it's made of the plastic rather than the anodized aluminium that it appears to be emulating. I don't think this is entirely bad however because this type of plastic is incredibly fingerprint and scratch resistant, leaving your Lenovo to age like a fine wine. I do feel that they could have made more of an effort with the colour and texture as the HP Pavilion X2 at a similar price with the same material looks much better. The bottom, which I have forgotten to show off in this video, is clean with nothing but feet for grip. The sides of the laptop opt for the super cool black colour, which holds all of the I.O. input slash output for all of you non-techies. This consists of a power button, volume rocker, speakers, micro HDMI, micro USB, power and socket, a microphone, charge light, SIM slash micro SD card tray, two USB 2.0s and a headphone jack so you don't have to listen to those crappy speakers. Another price point compromise. Opening up the laptop you are greeted with an unspectacular IPS panel, a webcam which is terrible but average for laptops, and that great keyboard that I love. A quick side note, the screen is actually really good, just remember to take off the screen protector. Also IPS is just a good thing, and the main selling point for me personally. The keyboard and trackpad are surrounded by a chrome chamfer, which is great. Though the trackpad could have been bigger, um, this is a budget hybrid laptop, the grandchild of the netbook and the cousin of the tablet. It makes for unparalleled flexibility. This laptop comes equipped with 2 gigs of RAM, 32 gigs of storage, an Intel Atom processor and, a, and it advertises a 10 hour battery life. The only real bottleneck for daily tasks will be the storage, so a micro SD card is recommended, though you should be good for a while. Okay, that is it. Um, if you have any questions, leave a, leave a comment in the comment section, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks.